Good day viewers, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, this is your tutor, Mr. Mlenga. So, um, as you can see, I want us to look at this question that came in 2021 Mathematics Paper 2 for external candidates. Okay, this question is coming from the topic vectors. All right, so uh, if you remember in the previous lessons that you have learned with me. I've told you that it's important you read the information that you are given in a question. So this question is saying, uh, in the diagram below, O A is equal to A vector, O B equal to B vector, and X is the midpoint of A B. Okay. So this is the, the diagram. Okay. So O A, sorry, uh, O A we have A. Then OB we have B. This X is the midpoint between A and what? B. Alright. So let's look at the questions now. How can we answer them? Okay. So I'm going to start with uh, question 1. We have A. They want us to find BA. So if you want to find BA, this is BA. Okay. So you can move BC plus C A okay or you can move B O plus O A so in this case looking at where I've been given values we are going to consider this direction B O plus O A so we write uh, B O plus O A okay so from here what is our uh, B O we have vector B there we have B now, in this case, it's against the direction you can see. They said OA, it's A. Now, BO. Okay, so it will be negative what? B. Plus OA, we have our A there. Okay, so our final answer, we just say A vector minus B vector. This is uh, the answer for the first one. Okay, so I do hope that you are following. Now, let's come to the second one. Alright, so we are, let's now look at the second one here. They want us to find AX. Okay, so how can we find AX? Okay, so this is uh, B, AX. Okay, so let's see how can we move. Remember, they are saying X is the midpoint of AB. Okay, so it's very easy for you to find X because you have BA. You have found this BA. So to find the X, you just say half of what? AB. Okay, so AX equal to, I've said half, okay, of what? AB. Because they said X is the midpoint of AB there. So you say half of what? A, B. So what you are going to do here, you say uh, half. Now, if you look here, we have our answer, which is A minus B. Okay. So A, B will be B uh, minus A, like this. Okay. So uh, we can just expand here. We say half times B. We have half b vector minus half times a we have half a vector this is our uh, answer our final answer for b so i do hope that you are following all right so uh, we have now come to to c this is c i want you to find o x o okay x o x so to find o x you can move o b plus b x okay or you can move OA plus AX. You just use the AX that you are just from answering. Okay. So in this case, it will be convenient for you to move OA plus AX. OA plus AX. Okay. Alright. So what is our OA? Our OA is A vector there. Plus what is our ax so if you remember our ax this was the value okay this is the value which is half b vector 
minus half a vector there. Okay, so what's next here? You can see uh, these are fractions. This is not a fraction. So you can divide it by one, okay? Then you find the common denominator there. So the common denominator will be two. So one into two is two. Two times a, you're going to have two a vector there. Plus two into two is one. One times b, b vector there. Minus two into two is one. One times one a there, you get a. So from here, you can do this. You correct the right terms where you have two a minus a plus b over two. So what do you do? Two a minus a, you get a vector plus b vector over two. Okay. So uh, this is your final answer, or you can write it as. Um, half then a vector plus b vector so so the answer okay so it's very easy so i do hope that you are you are following okay i do hope that you are following all right so let's proceed we see how best we can answer the last question so this is our last question okay which is roman numeral two given that OC is equal to 3A, express BC in terms of A and D, B vector. Okay, it's very simple. Alright, so this is our last question, okay? So they have given you OC, okay? This OC, they have told you that it's 3A, okay? Now they want you to express BC in terms of A and D or B. So what do you do? Okay, you do this. OC you have, they have told you is 3A. Then what is BC? So when you look at this uh, diagram, BC, BC, the way you can move, you can move BO plus OC. Okay, so first you find BC. So you move uh, BO plus OC, like this. Okay, so from here, what you are going to do is, remember on BO, Remember on BO here, you have B vector. Now it's against the direction, okay? So it will be negative B vector plus what is OC? OC. They have told you that OC is equal to 3A. So where there is OC, you put 3A vector there. So your final answer, you just say, uh, your final answer, you just say, 3a vector minus b vector. This is your answer there. So this question came in 2021. So that is how best we can answer it. So thank you so much for having time to view this content. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you are watching us on Facebook page, remember to invite your friends so that you can keep learning with us. Thank you.